Chapter 12.1, Rural Settlement Patterns. The learning goal is students will be able to describe the rural settlement patterns, past and contemporary patterns, and explain why the patterns changed. The concept list is uh, rural land use patterns, specifically clustered, um, which um, are circular and linear. Also, linear is called the French long lot system, and dispersed. Those are the two types of rural land use patterns. And then look again at township and range, which led to the contemporary United States rural settlement patterns and enclosure movement of Great Britain. And this led to contemporary European rural settlement patterns. So traditionally, people lived in clustered rural settlements as you can see here in the image that was provided in your book. The, the center of this cluster of, of farms and homes had uh, usually a religious building, a church. Usually there was shops, a school, town square, public buildings, a place where people would hang out. And then around the fringe of the center were houses and they were connected to their farmland. There often was common areas for grazing animals or participating in a shared agricultural practice for the community. When the population outgrew the cluster, then they would just form another cluster nearby. So typically, many places in Africa, especially traditional communities, still live in a clustered rural settlement pattern. So here in Botswana, this is a Google image just uh, today, 2013, you can see that these are clustered um, huts and communities where people live. Traditionally in New, New England, in the United States, when people moved from Europe and settled in communities in the New England area, you had uh, churches in the center of the town, and then you had houses um, scattered, you know, around them, clustered, I should say, around the town center. This was a Google image that was taken today. Maybe try and get a little bit bigger. Um, but this is a long lot system. This is along the Lawrence River in French Quebec. And these farmlands, you can see the farms here, and their, their land is long and narrow, and it borders along the edge of the river. So it's still clustered together. They're all clustered together, but they are a linear cluster along, often along a, a river. So traditionally, people lived in clustered rural settlements. Then that changed. So people today, especially in the United States and Great Britain, Britain, who live in rural settlements, they live in dispersed rural settlements. These are very large farms, and they're far away from each other. They're scattered. They're spread out. And these large farms actually are a lot more efficient in farming and growing food. So you can grow a lot more food in... Um, settlements that are much, much larger, or I should say farms that are much larger. And this happened, this change from clustered rural settlements to dispersed rural settlements happened in the United States during the westward movement. The people were moving uh, westward because of um, cheap and free farmland. Um, the township range system that was developed in the late 1700s was set up so that people could um, know where their, their homesteads were, which is 160 acres. And this township range system had people scattered, really, or I should say dispersed throughout the, the Great Plains as people moved west. The enclosure movement, which happened really during the same time, in Great Britain, this happened during the Industrial Revolution when there was an increase in population, so the need was to increase food production. 
and larger farms are a more efficient way to grow food. So this enclosure movement, which happened during the Industrial Revolution, is considered the second agricultural revolution. And here you see two Google Earth images that are current. This one right here, United States. These are homes, these are farmlands. This is in Kansas. And then this is in Great Britain, and these also are farms. So, two types of rural settlement patterns. Clustered, which was traditional, whether it's circular or linear. Contemporary is dispersed to take advantage of large farms to grow more food because of its efficiency and um, gain a more profit and to feed a larger population.